Okay, so uh, me and Tim have been kind of working here. Uh, it is Easter Sunday. Is that on the tractor? No. Um, it's Easter Sunday. I had that coupler, and we put. I had a shaft. wasn't ideal for what I needed, but it should work. I got to move that sprocket clear down to here because before it was too damn far out this way and it was causing an issue so it won't be too big of a deal but the uh you know the old shaft you see the wear on the old shaft that was done so i split the plastic off but there was still uh rust from the plastic and the fertilizer and what that did was it caused it, it caused this to not want to slide over it very very good so we took a well timothy did it uh, i took a piece of uh an old can a starting fluid can cut it apart made like a shim stuck it in there pounded it on and i tightened down this little guy here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the little grinder there and i'm gonna, the grinder's right there yeah, I mean this. yeah and we're gonna cut that tin off of there and then i'm just gonna weld it just like a a half inch weld on this side of it, a half inch weld on that side of it, same thing on the other. Um, I think it'll be just fine, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it'll be just fine. But before I do that, I want to put the I want to put the bearing on there and make sure that it runs true before I do that. So we'll do that. Or maybe well we'll just cut that thing off of there. Well that was too easy. Yeah, so yeah, and there's plenty of room there, so I might as well may as well. May as well just bolt the sucker fast. So, I can do that. So, kiss me and smile for me. Yeah. Stupid songs that stick in my stupid brain. 99 dead baboons? 99 dead baboons. 99 dead baboons sitting in my living room. Yeah, I don't remember the rest of that, but it was pretty funny way back in the day. It was funny. Um, yeah, got that one. So as long as there's plenty of, uh, oh, darn it. I don't need to do all that. I think the gun is right there. Well, oh, that one there is... Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pull this ahead a little bit. I got to get behind and come up from behind. Sticking. Turn again. Oh, wait a minute. I can probably get it. 
turns counterclockwise, but it might be clockwise. I just don't, I guess I never paid attention. up so you're gonna have to turn that if you don't mind now, hold on I can't see where I'm at Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm happy with that. Now, let's say we put that little. Can you put this away? Because I don't want lost. It has to go back in the tool truck at some point. Um, now we have to figure out exactly. belt so my thoughts are you're gonna have to loosen that thing up as far as <laughs> uh, yeah right you think that'll go around the surface no, I don't know all right let's start it up and see what happens it's probably just gonna pop right off just my thoughts on it because it just We've been having problems with this thing. All last year we had problems with it wanting to jump off because of the angle of that damn thing. And I'm hoping it doesn't. It's popped right off. Popped right off. You know, I honestly think that this belt is the wrong belt. Like, this is a 5L and it needs a 4L. You know what I mean? So it needs to be, uh, it needs to be smaller. Go ahead and give it a turn. It needs a 4L belt. Double. I don't know. I don't know. Just give it a turn. You know? Oh, God. Is this thing so damn stiff? Nah, I mean, so wet. You know what I mean? It's coming off there. Yeah. Um. It's so gotta be twisted. What's gotta be twisted? This here has to get twisted. To what? You think it has to twist to that? Yes. I don't think that's gonna make any difference. No, it's just gonna twist back. This is twisted. Nope, just gonna twist straight back. See that? Twist straight back. I don't wanna hit that. Thing that I don't wanna hit that sprocket. Oh. I don't care.
good there. I can give it a spin up real quick. Oh, what? Now. Should be okay. I think it's gonna work now. I think it's gonna work now. It should. It's it's a double-sided belt. The problem is when it goes back, when it comes off of there, when it goes on there, if it's not square, it's just spinning right off. <laughs> That's more than I've had before. thing is you got to tighten this up you got to tighten that up so get it tight watch your leg on that thing uh, let's finish tightening it up and then uh... okay you want to know something okay go ahead and start it up again let's see what happens it's probably just gonna flip I just got a weird feeling that it's gonna flip just my per personal thoughts on that I'm hoping it doesn't but I think it actually, oh no. Oh, it's going to. It didn't, but it's trying. I'm just hoping, I mean, if we can get it to stay like that, in all honesty, I think it's doing good. It's only like a quarter turn that it's twisting. Uh, it needs for these two and these two. Huh? It only needs it from this one and this one. Twist. No, no. It's only it's only twisting here and here and there. So it's a quarter turn and then a quarter turn back. Looks good. Yeah. There's a little bit concerned right here though. Yeah, see, he's double. If it was a double V, well, I mean, we could. In all honesty, we could loosen that one up and drive it down a little bit, and that would probably fix it. I mean, other than that, she's running pretty good. This is all new, by the way, last year. Uh, I need more shed space because I just don't have enough shed space to house all this stuff. This actually sat outside because I just don't have the shed space. Um, I should sell those two old trucks, but I like them. I don't want to sell them. I get sentimental to stuff sometimes, and I don't like to get rid of it, but yeah. But I'm thinking that that's pretty good. So go ahead and speed it up, slow it down. Jam it in gear, drop it out of gear, it don't matter. I just don't want it to flip off when I'm trying to work. Does that really annoys the piss out of me? does that is it starts snapping stuff so yeah it's working we're good we're good I'm gonna call this job well done um, the only way to really truly fix this is to buy this shaft and might just do it just need a universal down to the other end or I get the other universal out um, yeah two new pillow blocks universal there pop that sucker off of there put a brand new shaft into it uh, these pulleys aren't that old, but fertilizer is just a death blow to this shit. Just to do when I uh, engage it full throttle. You scared me. Why? Because you know, I don't want to break anything. 
but yeah, no, that worked pretty good. Um, I'd say it worked pretty good. All right, so let's call this good for good for summer. Good for good for the spring. We got to spread a couple hundred tons with it. A couple hundred tons. Yeah.